Hey guys, welcome to Ancient Greece. You guys have been learning so much in history class this year. Well, in every class, don't you think? And so what have you been learning in history class? Well, first we learned what history is. And who remembers the three rivers that we've learned about lately? Three rivers that we've learned about lately. Tigris, Euphrates, and Nile. Okay, the Tigris, Tigris, Euphrates, and the Nilo. Okay, let's see what else with ancient mess. I mean, ooh, paired on ancient Egypt, they had the, what was their form of writing called? What was their form of writing called? Hieroglyphics, right? The hieroglyphics. And what are we learning about Mesopotamia, Egypt, and we're gonna learn it about Greece today. Did they worship God? No, they worship different gods, right guys? And if they're different gods, are they really gods? No, okay, they're not really gods. They're just invented gods so that they can invent their own religion. Why would people want to invent their own religion? So they can make their own rules, right? But remember what we're talking about in Bible class? Why does God give us rules? God gives us rules so that it will protect us and help us to be better in life, right? But sometimes people don't like those rules, so they invent new gods. But are they really gods? Can they get them to heaven? No. Okay, three stay right. So today we're gonna to learn because the, the Greeks had a lot of different gods that they believed in. Ooh, a montón of different gods that they believed in. I'm gonna show you a picture of them, okay? So I'm gonna tell you really quick about the Greeks with the reading that you have. And then you get to watch a really cool video about them too because this video tells you really cool things and shows you really cool pictures. So I don't want you to miss it, okay? So don't forget after this video to go really quick over to the other video so that you can see it for today's lesson. So look, here's your homework for today. Take out a piece, a piece of paper. Take out a piece of paper. On that piece of paper, all you're gonna write is eight things I learned about ancient Greece. Eight things I learned about ancient Greece. Eight things I learned about ancient Greece. Ivan a escribir ocho cosas de ancient Greece. Okay, so the things I'm telling you right now, you can write down, and the things in the video you can write down. Okay, so make sure there's eight different things, and make sure you watch the video because it's really, really cool. Okay, here you go. Take out your reading. Take out your reading. Let's do this thing. It says in 3500 BC. What does BC mean? Before Christ. Very good. People came to the islands of the Aegean Sea. Okay, so right here, 3500 years before Christ, everyone was coming to these little islands of the Aegean Sea. Everyone say that, Aegean Sea. They built a large civilization on the islands and on the mainland of Greece. Okay, here is Greece, and it's still Greece today, you guys. Okay, this is in Europa. The most two most famous cities were called Athens and Sparta. I know that some of you guys have heard of Sparta, right? Okay, and you might have heard of Athenas too. Now, these two cities always fought against each other, and Sparta was crazy. If you were born in Sparta, you would be put in the military when you were seven years old. That means that every one of you boys would already be in the militar. What? And you're like, okay, cool, okay, cool. Mm-mm, mm-mm. That is not cool. Are you ready to go fight people in the militar? Right now, you can just go into La Guerra? No, you could die, right? At seven years old, you are training to go into the militar. And this is really triste. If you were born with, some, with something wrong with you, some kind of weakness, and you could not fight in the militar, guess what they would do with you? They would kill the babies. 
that could not help them fight in the militar. Isn't that horrible? For real, guys, that's horrible. You can't treat people like that. If God let them be born, then what should happen to them? They should live their life, right? They shouldn't kill babies. But that's what they did because they all they cared about was fighting wars. Hmm. Huh. Craziness, okay? So that's Athens and Sparta. Sparta were the crazy militar people. Look what it says. Greece has lots of mountains. The biggest mountain is called Mount Olympus. Okay, Mount Olympus is where they started saying that their otros dioses lived in Mount Olympus because it was like a magical mountain, they said. Okay, was it true? No, it wasn't true, but that's what they thought. So, remember that right now, just to let you know, Athens and Sparta were called city-states. Okay, see what that is? Estados, basically, is what that is. Well, there's little city-states all around Greece because they all had their own gobierno. So, it was almost like they were little mini países inside a big país. Okay, because Greece was huge during this time, you guys. They were like trying to conquer the world. Did they? No, they didn't. The Romanos came and fought against them, okay? And the Romanos were super, super strong. And they're the empire when Jesus was born, okay? Jesus was born during the Romans that come right after the Greeks. And we're going to learn about them next, which is kind of cool. Okay, so they lived in city-states and they worshiped different gods, like I told you. So here, let me show you a picture of the gods. They believed in these gods and goddesses, dioses and diosas. Okay, one of them they built a temple for, a huge temple that you're going to learn about. It's not called a ziggurat, it's called the Parthenon. Okay, everyone say that, Parthenon. Okay, they believed that all the gods lived on Mount Olympus with Zeus being the biggest one. Okay, <clears throat> They thought that all the gods controlled things and that gods were related to each other and had human behaviors but were just more powerful than humans. So their gods, you guys, that aren't true, that aren't real, but they thought they were, could get mad at each other, could be celoso and different stuff like that. They weren't perfect. Our god is perfect. Their gods were not perfect. They were just like humans, just more powerful, they said, okay? So people would write um, myths about them. They would write little stories about them, like making up different things about the gods, okay? One of the guys that wrote those myths is called Homer. He did a, everyone reads his book called The Odyssey about the Greek gods. But really, it's just, it's just invented, that's all. Okay, <clears throat> the Greeks were good architects, constructors musicians they wrote plays they were actors philosophers they were in um politicos wow crazy huh artists they did poemas and they were soldados okay look at the next page right here this one right here let's see where they got their food most people were farmers okay now here's a weird thing guess what Egypt has the Nilo River. Mesopotamia had the Tigris and the Euphrates River. But there's no river by Greece. Not a big river. But there's big what? Seas. Right? The Aegean Sea and this little sea right here. The Ionian Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. So did they have water? Oh yeah, they did. Okay, but it was from the sea, not the river. So it says most people were farmers. They grew wheat which is integral, and barley for bread and for porridge. Porridge is like, like avena. They got fish, <clears throat> sea urchins, octopus, and squid from the sea. The Greeks drank goat's milk, so they drank leche from a cabra, not from a cow. And they drank wine, vino. People went to the agora to buy their favorite foods. What is the agora? It's a big marketplace. They like to buy foods such as olives, figs, and grapes. Okay, so I'm going to show you a picture of some of the stuff that they ate. Okay, here, everyone likes uvas, right? I love uvas. So they ate, oh, guys, they have this cheese. It's called feta. Whew. 
guys, that cheese is amazing. Do you know one thing that they didn't do though? They didn't eat carne a lot. Hmm. That, could you imagine that? Not eating carne a lot. Anybody really like carne? I love carne. I feel like I need to go to Olancho and eat all their carne. Okay, for real, I love carne, but the uh, Greeks did not eat it a lot. They ate it only on special occasions. They did like fruit and they like nuts and different stuff like that, but not carne. Craziness. Okay, look at number, I mean, look at the next one right here. Let's learn about the houses. Ooh, this will be cool. Greek houses were only, were one or two stories. Okay, so they had one or two niveles, plantas. They both, they were built around a courtyard. Look at the picture. They were born, like, built around a little part, which I'm going to show you right there. That is right here. That part was outside still. And there are two things in that. There was a well, which is a posum, where they got the water, and an altar to their Greek gods. Sad, right? So they didn't go to church or anything like that. Homes were made of mud bricks, so they're made of ladrillo, made from um, lodo. They had clay tile roofs. The kitchen and the bathroom were on the first nivel. Men entertained their guests there, too, so they had visitors. The family bedrooms, the servant's room, and the women's weeding room were upstairs on the second planta. Look at what they wore. Here's their clothes. People wore wool or linen tunics called shaitans, okay? Women wore one or two piece shaitans. Men wore thigh length shaitans. During the winter, people wore cloaks called hymations. That's in your picture. For exercising and playing sports, men wore no clothes. Okay, let's not talk about that a lot, but they didn't wear, the men didn't wear clothes when they did sports. That part is not a good idea. People wore leather sandals outside and they went barefoot inside the house. Okay, so they just wore sandals, not closed shoes like you guys do. Okay, they just wore sandalias and then inside the house they didn't wear any shoes at all. I don't wear shoes in my house. Do you guys wear shoes in your house? Some people do, some people don't. Okay, then look at the contributions. So what are some things, Greece gave us a lot of stuff, you guys. Do you know that Greece gave us our form of gobierno, our form of government, how people vote and then someone becomes a president? That came from Greece. Do you know that the Olympics came from Greece? Look what it says right here. The ancient Greeks had the first Olympics. Guys, I love the Olympics. What's your favorite thing to watch? What's your favorite day fourth day to watch in the Olympics? My favorite is swimming and gymnastics and the diving when they go off the thing poof, into the water. I love that. But they started it, the Greeks did. They had they gave plays in large outdoor theaters. They had huge outdoor theaters, you guys, and so did the Romans. You're gonna learn that with the Romans. Greek writers made up stories about the gods and the goddesses. One man named Homer, not like Homer Simpson, but that's where the name comes from. They are called myths. Everyone say that, myths. The Greeks made three types of columns for buildings, too, so they're very famous for their architecture. Okay, very, very famous for their architecture. It's very beautiful. Do you know that the Romans tried to copy them, but they didn't They didn't want to spend all the money? So they didn't use, like, the real material for it. They would just use, like, cemento and then put the beautiful material just on the outside. Super face, fake, super falsa. Um, they are called, the columns are called Doric, Ionic, and, Ionic, pardon, and the Cor Corinthian. The Corinthian, that's in the Bible, because it's part of the, it, it was in ancient Greeks. The Greeks built a beautiful temple called the Parthenon, okay, and that's the, to the goddess of Athena, At Athena was her name, okay, so the Greeks did a lot of stuff. Gave us good writing, gave us philosophy, gave us architecture, gave us government. One thing that they didn't understand, though, was who God was. And it's because they didn't want to understand, you guys. In the Bible, Paul went to Athens. Paul went to Greece and tried to tell them about God. But they didn't want to hear it because they had their other gods. Right? Super, super sad. But it's a good civilization to learn a lot of other things from. Not their gods, but a lot of... They're very smart people. 
And unfortunately, sometimes we can be smart, but we don't know God. And that what happens in the end of the end of life? We don't go to heaven, right? So we do need to make sure that we understand about God, but we can understand and learn a lot from the Greeks. Okay, a lot of their intelligence. And so that's why you're going to learn some things about them this week and next week. So I hope you guys have fun with that. Don't forget to watch the other video and do your words to know. Okay, make sure you do your words to know. Remember how you do your words to know? Glue them onto here, put the definition, then fold it. Okay? Glue the word, put the definition, fold it, and then put the picture on the back. I don't know, I forgot that part. Bye, guys. Thank you.